You guys ready to go back to high school auto shop? Okay. <laughs> yeah. I did really well. In t- oh, okay, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even go. I was yeah. the star of high school auto shop. But here's the, the one king. thing they never actually taught you. They told you what ignition timing is, but not how it actually affects power. This right. is a test that, while super basic, I've never run before. I know you've done it before, timing sweeps and stuff, but how bad can ignition timing make an engine? That's what we're about to find out. So do we know where the timing is right now? Yes. Are you ready for the number? <laughs> Hit me with something good. 11. 11. It has 11, 11 degrees of total timing. Did you just pick that like randomly and? Well, it just landed there and I figured out, well, you know, what if you just threw the distributor in and you never really checked the timing and you think, well, it kind of runs to starts. Think of smog era stuff that had zero initial oh, and nice. like 16 total. Yeah. It was really common. So if I just grabbed the distributor and stuck that in, put it somewhere and started it up time. and said, oh, that sounds good. Let's try it, right? Yeah, let's drive. I don't know if it's even going to run smooth. <laughs> So what we're doing here is we're gonna show you the effects of ignition timing, and we've started with, like Dulcip said, basically you just stab the distributor and walk away. It's a disaster, it's wrong. We all know, just from experience, that this engine is gonna want like 35 or 36 degrees total ignition timing at wide open throttle, and right now, it's gonna have 11. So 11's basically not even close, right? Not even close. No. No, this is like light years off the mark. This is not like a small change. This is hideous. Well, let's see what happens. Maybe it'll like it. <laughs> no, I wasn't looking. I was actually watching the AFR. You know, it looks like when there's nitrous, right? When yeah. the cone comes out, that's what was happening. It was, yeah. Got some blue yeah. That's because all out. the combustion's in the header. Oh, yeah. That's it's external, com- uh, external, external combustion. External combustion yeah. engine. With the timing retarded that badly, what's happening is it's lighting the flame so late that it's burning out the exhaust valve and out the exhaust. All right, let's see what it did. Oh, that is not only <laughs> no power, that's ugly power. Look at all this. What did yeah. I call this before? Struggly? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we made 365 pound-feet of torque at 4,100 RPM and 320 horsepower at 5,300 RPM, which is 100 down or more. <laughs> it's close, right? Well, we don't know until we tuned it up, right? That yeah. is hideous. That's okay. A, this is definitely struggling. Is that <laughs> struggling? Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised it ran this well, to tell you the truth. I, I couldn't believe we got all the way through the pool because I've never run anything with like that little timing in it. So I say let's go to 20. Make a big step. How about 21? Okay. Yeah. So, put 10 so degrees in it. Ish, basically. Yeah, huh? put 20 in. So Steve's gonna go out there and readjust the timing to 21 degrees of total advance. Okay, go again. 21 degrees. 21 exactly right on the nose. It is directly right on the money. 21 and. I have a suspicion that that's not gonna be enough, but let's do this as an intermediate step. All right, let's find out. 21 is the type of number I have bought cars and put a light on them and that's where it's been. Yeah. This is like a not common mistake, but not beyond the realm of possibility. <laughs> yeah. 